Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Monday, man. It is cold and you're probably feeling just like me, ready for this cold weather to come to an end. Well, we do have a major warming trend by the end of this week and we'll talk about that in the newscast. First of all though, you notice the title of this webcast extra, going, 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 gone. And what, am I, what I mean by that is this weather system that's coming in gets weaker and weaker and the precipitation chances get less and less. So that's exactly what I mean in the computer model forecast the closer it gets to this actual system coming in the less precipitation it produces and that's what I mean by the going 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 gone temperatures right now in the upper 20s so it is cold wind chills make it feel more like the upper teens to lower 20s we do have a little warmer weather in the river valley 40 degrees in Fort Smith 39 in Clarksville now at this moment at the time of this recording which was just before 3 30 in the afternoon we had that potential for a winter weather advisory. Now that is in the River Valley. As you'll see, the timing of this winter weather advisory starts at 6 o'clock tonight, goes until 10 o'clock in the morning. But it appears that even the River Valley snow chances are starting to diminish. So as we zoom out a little bit more, you'll see a weather system that's approaching eastern Colorado, western Kansas, northwestern Oklahoma. This is the weather system that moves in overnight tonight. This is what we've been watching over the weekend. But it does appear that a couple of things are taking place that are going to lessen the snow amounts in a major way. One of the things is a big weather system that's beginning to move on shore looks like its track is going to be a little farther south than expected earlier uh, over the weekend. So now on tomorrow morning into the afternoon this system will track farther south. The low pressure system that's uh, creating the snow in southeastern Colorado that's beginning to weaken and eventually that will actually disappear. As we look at the satellite and radar that snow that's coming in does have some dry air to work with so a lot of this is going to evaporate before it moves in and I would say a dusting at best for tomorrow. I don't think school will be canceled. I don't think it's going to be a major deal. We may not even get any snow the way that the rate is, uh, the trends are going with less and less precipitation. I do think we see a few snowflakes, and as we look at our snow totals, they are not anything to write home about by any means. We're talking less than two tenths of an inch, maybe a half inch in the river valley, but this is not a significant enough system to close school, to cause any travel issues. It looks like it's just going to be a light, light snow event, maybe a dusting at best, and it may not even be that. Of course, the newest computer models will come out here very shortly. I'll give you the update on that. That could change, but the way the trends are going, it's bringing less and less snowfall. So keep it here with your weather authority, and we'll have the latest forecast coming up at 5, 6, and 10 on KNWA, and of course the Fox News Edge at 5, 30, and 9. Hope to see you then.